Greetings. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Just wait for that to finish. Maybe we can get started. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for thank you for joining me tonight um, for another upriver downriver stream where we make some more music for uh, upcoming tabletop RPG upriver downriver. Uh, let's get the camera on. Hello. Hello. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you, and also thank you if you are watching later on Catch Up. That's very much appreciated. Um, I've been working on music all day today, so my brain's a little bit on the fried side, but uh, hopefully hopefully that shouldn't affect... shouldn't affect the ability, my abilities to make some music for our brother down River today. Um, so if you weren't here on Monday, if you didn't catch the stream on Monday, you may notice I have a new stand. Uh, this means I don't have to to lift a synth up and put synths down in between um, in between making stuff, and uh, it, the difference is already extremely apparent. I'm using I'm using the grandmother a lot more uh, on things which I wasn't when I had to keep switching because the the Korg Minilog has a lot of patches and a lot of sounds, and it's much more because it's a poly synth. It's much more versatile, whereas this is a bit a bit bit more niche and a bit more specialized so um already very very much enjoying having having a new stand um and then also behind me you might notice that there is a guitar set up uh just because i think i might be playing that later uh so what are we working on tonight so um on my list of music i need to make for up river down river i have um a couple of tracks that I think we can use the tracks that we've already made as a starting point. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I'll just, if you just click on that and then let me switch over to this. And we'll hope that the plugin hasn't crashed again so you can hear everything. Yes, you can. Amazing. So uh, I, I briefly talked about this the last time when I, when I was making this track. This is, this is the source. You need to remember to put that E, that R in there rather than not that E. You need to put the R in there. Um, so there's a point at the end where the orchestra, where we kind of bring in, start bringing in orchestral instruments. 
Um, specifically, we've got some spiccato, spiccato strings, um, a bass, and then we also have a, a, a brass section as well. Tang Whistle, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Glad you could make it. Glad you could come along and tune in tonight. Uh, it's going to be very, very laid back because my, my brain's a bit a bit fried. But uh, we're just kind of going over what we went over last time. And uh, I think I'm going to use something from last week's track to start a new track. Uh, I also have my guitar set up because I think it might be fun to play some acoustic guitar on, on whatever track we come up with tonight. So specifically, I thought this bit might be interesting to use for something else on its own. <laughs> Glad you agree. <laughs> I think this is a separate track in and of itself. Like, I think it's a good starting point. So, uh, first of all, I should say, like, uh, it's sort of good fried. Uh, I know that sounds that sounds very weird to say that uh, my brain is fried in a good way, but uh, no, I just I had. So I've been working all day on a very very uh, very very cool uh, commission that unfortunately I'm not allowed to talk about. But when it comes out, I'll be talking about it a lot because it's really cool. Um, and then towards the end of the day, I get another email and uh, potentially got another commission for another one of these, which is very cool. So. Uh, it's been a very music heavy day today and for some reason I decided not to, I decided to do the stream anyway. Um, good. I'm glad to hear it because I am, I'm very excited to show people it, frankly, because good God, I am, I am having so much fun putting it together. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the things that I'm not allowed to show you. We're here to talk about the things that I can show you and I can talk to you about. Um, so yeah, I think this might be interesting. So one of the tracks, where's it gone? So th this is the list of tracks I have to make. For, uh, I'm kind of focusing on the ones that are specifically that are essential because when we when we initially had the conversation about um, the music for up, up river down river we decided we wanted to have 22 tracks um, but at the bare minimum we needed you know I think seven tracks as like a kind of this is the minimum amount that needs to be done um, I am going to do all 22 but I think I'm only probably going to stream. Um, at the very least, I'm only going to be streaming the the ones that are marked essential. Uh, but we'll wait and see. I might I might just make this a regular thing because it's going to take a while to do 22 tracks. Um, but uh, yeah, so where 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 are we? What is what is going on? Where are we? Right. Um, so I'm kind of thinking. Initially, I kind of came into today thinking about doing communion, communion, but. I think, I think this. Kind of lends itself to doing the impossible. I think, I think it's a good start. So that's, that's kind of, that's idea number one. Idea number two, I had an idea on the guitar about maybe an hour and a half ago. And I was thinking I might I might record that for for the communion track, but I'm going to start on this one just because uh, I'm curious about it more than anything else. Uh, do do do, and then what what was the organ sound like? Oh yeah, amazing! Right, because then that that works as a nice little, a little link. So why is this so cool? Well, oh, why am I doing this, and why do I think it's it's going to work really well? So here's the thing, right? So this track we're working on today, the uh, the oh, what's happened here? Oh, I see. Okay, well we'll keep those for there. So, you know, you get you you're playing the game, you get to the doing the impossible bit, and then you you get your I should probably 
Give the brass some beans. It's like I instantly hit save and haven't saved this track yet. And then later on, when you reach the source of the river, if that if that is indeed your destination, you get you get a much you know bigger, fuller version of it. So it's it's uh, it's thematic. There we go, thematic. Right. Let's get this let's get this project saved very quickly. I'm just going to pop that over here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, just because I forgot to save it before the thing started. I'll get that just done there just now. Uh, up river, down river, soundtrack. Mm, I'm going to call this doing the impossible. Hello, Ella. Thank you so much for coming along. Glad you could make it. Uh, we're going to be doing the Doing the Impossible track today, uh, which I believe is... Which one is that? The Magician today. That's the one we're, that's the one we're doing. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at... Where have you gone? Do we have Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, the World? I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. I am, I'm having a wonderful time making them. I'm, I'm a bit equip, equipped resourceful manifestation. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit spaced at the moment, but hopefully that I'll I'll kind of get into it in a minute. Um, you, Ella in particular, knows exactly why I'm spaced. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna. This is what we're starting with. This this little. Well, this is this is the track. This is the track for that for these moments. So. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> no apologies necessary. I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> Good morning, Mysterious. Glad you could make it. Thank you for coming along at seven o'clock in the morning uh, to, to tune into these streams. Um... It's I I I cannot fathom that, frankly. But thank you so much. It's wonderful to to see you see you here on stream. Uh, so we're we're working on a track called "Doing the Impossible." The card is for the magician. Um, so it's it's more of an action sequence rather than a place or an end point. Um, and what I've done is I've taken um, I've taken a sec the end section, some of the tracks from the end section of uh, the the source. And I've stuck them in a separate, in a new project, and we're going to use this as our starting point. Because I feel like if you're, you know, if you're going to be doing the impossible, you kind of need to start, you know, fairly imposing. Uh, so right, what do we have here? Uh, we have our organ. We're not using the oot pad. Uh, I decided not to carry the oot pad over. Um. Mm. <laughs> See now I'm just like, oh, okay, this could this could work for communion, and I'm just like, no, I said I wasn't going to do that one. I'm going to. Good. I imagine a music streamer would be a fun. There's a there's a music streamer that I follow that I can't remember off the top of my head because it's only only just recently. But their 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 streams usually end when I'm waking up. Um, and they tend to do piano, but they also do kind of uh, you know your sort of chill beats, uh, study relaxing music playlists, um, which is a good thing to wake up to. I think I don't know. Streams for me are st still feel like an evening thing. Maybe that's maybe that's just me though. Um. Um. Right. You know what? Let's carry the. Let's take the. Let's steal the trumpet as well. Um. 
Hmm. Okay, so... Let's start with our good friend, the felt piano. I realize I've never actually explained... Ooh. I've, uh... I never explained why it's called a felt piano. It's it's not it's not a, a piano made of felt. It is a uh, basically it's it's a piano um, that I will also be tweeting about it a lot. Um, <laughs> it's a piano where they've put felt in between uh, on some of the strings, so it's a slightly uh, softer sound than um, than a sort of normal acoustic piano. Okay, so we've got our good friend the felt piano. Let's right. Where are we? Let's, would that work? Would that work? Sort of, but it means that by doing so, it means you can still have the sustain pedal, and it would still you still get the nice sustain. So it's sort of. So you still get the nice frequencies. It doesn't completely dampen it. Um, it just sort of takes the sort of harsher, you can't really hit the keys too hard um, because you don't get that. You can't really do a proper big, like, loud, that's me thumping it quite hard. Um, it's a beautiful sound. Uh, it's from Spitfire Audio. It's only, I think you, it's one of their original series. So it's like £29 or $29 or 29 whatever currency you, you, you pay for stuff in. Um it's an incredible piano. I, I, I would re recommend it. I believe uh, it was used on the Celeste soundtrack as well. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I know what I've done. So if you've not been you've not been able to hear anything the whole time, I am so sorry. That is me being silly. I forgot to set this up properly. Nope, that's the wrong one. Right. Oh, that's terribly embarrassing. It's just me just <laughs> like without having to. There we go. Piano. We have piano. We have uh, we have audio. Um. There we go. So this is what we're starting with. So we're starting from a very good place, you know. I'm sorry about that. That was that was my fault. I think that's our first that's our first port of call. I think I'll I'll add these little arpeggios at the top. <laughs> Which sounds very Zelda like. Maybe add a, something else in there. Um Right, let's get that. Let's pop that down and see what. See what. Uh, I need to remember what the chords are. So that's. Good old arpeggios. B flat. Um, 
I think it goes to G after this. Guess we'll find out. Do you remember where it goes next? E flat? Is it E flat next? Yes! Amazing. Right, well, let's get that recorded before before I forget. And then uh, I think we'll probably end up using that, taking that, putting it in front of it, making it more of a thing. Wait and see. We'll wait and see. But let's, let's, for the time being, let's... Click track is on. That's saved. Let's go. Need to put the sustain pedal on, don't I? See, I think what you're saying about the 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 damper pedal, like I had the same thing, but with the, the sustain pedal, I just thought this is, the sustain pedal made everything sound really nice. So it's why it's why I'm not the best piano player in the world because I rely very very heavily on the sustain pedal. Like I'll just hit chords and then just I don't know go into the next room, have some food, and come back and then play the next one. It's just because I've got foot is on the the sustain pedal the whole time. Right, arpeggios with sustain. <laughs> okay, I need to do a couple of fixes there. I may have made a couple of mistakes. Uh, first of all, I got quantized properly. Pedaling the sustain should be like taking your breath. I know that now. I kind of know where the best time to kind of lay off is, and um, but that that was that was something that I had to kind of learn the hard way. It just because you get like. Um, because I started out on the bass, you don't need to worry about that kind of thing when you're a bass player, you know. <laughs> Just left out the last two notes there for some reason. Let's pop that there. I am the great fairy. <laughs> I think I left out two notes there. Yep. Once again, I don't know why it's always the last one. I'm not quite sure why why that's a thing. There we go. Yep, did I, I did it again. I just just I think I think it's it's my it's my brain just going, "Oh, you're going to be changing soon. You should probably think about that." And it just interrupts my interrupts my flow. Rachman oh, can you imagine Rachmaninoff with a sustain on all the way? Good lord. Come on. Oh, whoops. Nope. This is so much of my life is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's fixing fixing midi takes. Okay, so let's let's have a look at that. Oh, 
What else can we add? Okay, so here's here's the dilemma, right? We kind of need to figure out a structure from this tiny loop right here. So here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we get rid of that little lead in. So we just straight away, you're just straight in. Bond out. Yeah, you're gonna base it around the base it more around the uh, the strings. Have something over the top of that, maybe like an oboe or just like a maybe just like a like a violin or something. Just give me some other strings, like uh, like a violin, a viola, violin. Yes, throw some violin over the top. I think this is a good opportunity to add a whole string section in, um, but kind of do it properly where we map out each in, each, in, each instrument individually. Um, because I do really enjoy doing that. There's 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 a there's a particular kind of fun. It lends itself to an in, an interesting kind of sound. I think. Okay, I'm gonna let's add add in just some light chords over the top. Uh, but I'll turn the click track on first. That was a test. Well done, everybody. You passed. Okay. And now I just need to remember the chord I'm supposed to play.
Excellent. Good, 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 good. Quantize that. Okay. Let's get some strings on the go, shall we? So, let's load up my orchestra. It's not an actual orchestra, but it's close enough. So, right, let's get... Let's start with a violin. Mm, no, actually, before we do that, there's a very important texture I want to add in. Yep, no, I know. Uh, frozen strings... Frozen violin. I've used this before on stream. I've, I like it. I like it very much. Nope. Okay. So it's a. It's like a four four violins. I smell interesting, wonderful textures. So let's throw that on there. Strong, strong chord, the wrong key. Okay. Just goes round and round and round, which is lovely. Just throw some reverb on that, and just just adding a nice bit of extra flavour. Right, good, 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 good. So let me just uh, move that over here. And then glue these back together. Uh, join notes, there we go. Cool, so now we have this, this frozen texture here. So, um, let me show you how I do string parts. Let me show you how I do individual string parts when I'm fully orchestrating a uh, fully orchestrating um, a piece. So, first of all, I usually start with a cello, just because it's in it's in the bass clef, so it's kind of where I'm most comfortable. <laughs> and this is a, this is a solo cello as well. Like I do have cello sections but I really like just having individual instruments um, and using that to fill out the space rather than um, having a whole section because I feel like a lot of the that that's mostly to do with uh, the software rather than any kind of personal preference I just think with with when you're using you know synthesized instruments if you've got a whole section it it's difficult to make that sound more real and intimate whereas this feels very feels a lot more immediate. Um, so I usually start on, I do the cello, it does the bass notes, 
Um, uh, then we'll do the viola next, and then we'll do the violin. Fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, we're not doing that. Okay, let's pop that on. So cell apart just does the root notes, just does uh, what all good bass players do. Uh, at least initially, we might change it later. And I'll turn the volume up and mix it properly later. Sounds boring now, but once we've got everything in, it's going to sound really lovely and full. It's an under underused thing. DJ Cambom, thank you so much for the raid. Six people. Goodness, hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. Oh, goodness. Oh, well, perfect timing. You have a wonderful soundtrack to come into the come into the stream for. <laughs> hello, hello, logical by design. Hello, Conk4552. Oh, thank you for following logical by design. Uh I will just quick cut this out real quick. Uh, so if you are new here, uh, my name is David. Um, you can call me Dev. Um, I, uh, I run 10 Can Audio. Um, I will just put the information up there. Uh, we make podcasts, we make music, we stream Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, we're currently making the soundtrack, for working on the soundtrack for an upcoming tabletop RPG game called uh, Upriver Downriver, uh, which also has a little some information on it as well. If you want to find out some information about that, there is a link. Um, and yeah, so today we are working on a track called Doing the Impossible. It's kind of for very tense scenes during your your, your RPG sessions. Um, we're just working on. We're just starting on doing a full string part, a full string, uh, a full kind of string section. Um, right now we have uh, we've got a couple of things that we've stolen from another piece from the soundtrack. Um, so yeah, so this uh, I'll play what we've got so far, and we can we can go from there. And I'll just quickly copy and paste all the other parts in so that we're. It all sounds loaded. All right, my fault. Thank you very much, DJ Cambom. Thank you so much for the raid. Have a good one. stick in just 
stick in maybe some drums, like some kettle drums in there. Just to fill that out a bit. So we've already got a, a brass section playing just now, which is quite cool. It's really filling out. Filling that out nicely. And then up here, about to come in, we have an oboe as well, just really taking off the taking up the high end. Just need something, I think it needs a couple of something just to give it a bit more movement, because it, it, it needs a bit more kind of forward momentum, which it doesn't quite have right now. And there you go. Already at three minutes, so that's pretty good so far. It's... I think we can add some more kind of synthy elements to it, maybe. Like it's, I need to remember when I'm making these, and it, I've I've kind of talked about this when I did the other did the other ones that like I need to remember that it's 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 meant to be kind of background. It's it's not as much as like they're instrumental pieces, and you kind of need something to kind of keep the listener interested. At the same time, you don't want to kind of push it kind of too far. Like I'm really happy with with these kind of these two pieces, which are sort of the end parts of the um, end parts of the game, uh, which sound really sound good and they, they sound very full and they have very imposing melodies but this i think this is most likely going to be a loop because if you've got these moments where you're doing the impossible there's a lot of talking there's a, there's a lot of making decisions and things so uh, i think this will kind of be a slightly shorter piece but it'll be like a loop that you can have on um probably make a sort of yeah okay right we have our cello part let's go back to what we were doing let's add Next up, we have the viola, a very, very, a much maligned instrument. Uh, if I can find it, there we go. Good, that's good. It means I'm doing my job right. <laughs> Thank you, Conk Four Five Four Two. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's pop this down. This is actually quite a lovely sounding viola sound in this one. <laughs> Dan Danny Vision, Danny Vision. <laughs> Welcome, thank you very much. Uh, yes, unfortunately, D DJ Campbell uh, had to had to run off, but thank you very much for sticking around. Thank you very much for sticking around for for uh, for the stream. Uh, right, so we've got we've got our viola part. So we've got the cello part doing the um, the sort of bass notes. So the viola usually stick on the kind of the sort of the thirds or the fifths. I'm going to go for thirds because I've got a very particular idea of what I want the violin to do later on. Uh, so, so here we go. That's wrong octave. Thank you. 
So I'm doing. So what I'm doing there is I'm focusing on the third of each chord, but then I'm also kind of going up to the fifth and then adding in some extra, adding in some extra notes that'll kind of blend in together once everything's kind of all all in one. So let's get this recorded before I forget how to play it. There we go. Wrong note, but we'll fix that later. <laughs> That bit at the end needs fixing, but uh, it now means if we stick those those two together, we should have a very nice initial sort of two two part string section. Where did I get the wrong note? Yeah, I like using that note there as a kind of linking. That just sounds. I think that sounds really nice. That needs to go... There we go. If we add... I'll be doing some panning stuff as well, just to really spread it out around the, around the stereo field. Did I... Did I... Yeah, that last chord I messed up. Okay, let's fix that quickly. Okay, that wasn't without a click track, so it was probably a bad idea. But we'll see what it sounds like. Right, violin next. So let's, let's add the violin in. Again, these are these are solo instruments rather than sections, just because I think uh, for string parts, it just it sounds more kind of closer and and um, more immediate. I guess. So, right, so where are we on the violin? Let's go up a bit. So we're doing some I'm gonna try at least to do some clever things with the violin. But let's let's see. Let's see how let's see how that goes first. Uh Okay.
will need to fix that viola part. Uh, but I believe that's our string section. I'm just going to turn the input down on that a little bit. And I'll put a verb track on to make it sound slightly more kind of together. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's fix this because this, this is this is a mess. Okay. Amazing, right? String section. So, what if we mute this to begin with? Okay, 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 so we're going to start with just the piano, starting on the piano and then, so you still get a build, which is nice, still a little bit of ambience. Maybe something kind of more ethereal we can stick over the top, which I quite like. Um, see what happens if we load a Wurlitzer in, see if we can do something fun with that. if you want to do that. There it is. Oh, that's nice. That's probably because I stopped and started, right? Mm, 
might that might be a bit too much at once. Hang on. bit wider. Thank you very much for the follow, Kong452. 4542, I beg your pardon. Glad you're enjoying the stream. And then the brass comes in with the oboe. That's nice. There it is. Just call you Kong. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Long track, yeah. That's okay, drums. Good, I'm glad. Like, it's something that, like. I've, I've, quite a few people have said that they put the streams on while they work, which I, that that's great to me because because this this is just me working, so it's it's nice to feel that. Uh, although I'm sitting alone in my flat doing this stuff, it's nice to know that nice to think that there are other people working roughly in the same time. I guess I don't know. I don't really know how to uh, how to properly express it. But so this this is this is a, a plugin I got quite recently. I haven't used it for anything properly, but. I love it very much. It is a marching band ensemble. So it's all different instruments. So I kind of want to get some bass drum hits. That's going to be our starting thing, I think. Uh... <laughs> you don't have to get up yet. It's fine. The day is still young. Um... Yeah, it does make me feel a lot less isolated. Like, because I, I don't, I don't make music. Like, I, I've, I've, I've been putting, I've been thinking because I've been doing this for about streaming music production for about six months. So it's, it. I kind of thought, well, let's, let's think about the benefits of it and, and what I think I've got out of it. And I do, I do think I've got gotten better as a musician as a result. Like there, I feel like I'm, I'm pushing myself more if I'm doing things on stream and it's, it's getting me to try things I wouldn't normally do uh, if I was just composing by myself. So I, I do think that I'm getting a lot out of these streams that I'm learning and I'm, I am improving just by streaming the work process. Um, so, Thank you for coming along and thank you for helping with that. Um, and I, I do enjoy these streams. I love doing these music streams. They they are so much fun. And um, it means that even when I've got a week full of... A week like this week where I've got commissions and audio, uh, audio edits and um, podcast stuff to do, um, it's nice to know that I can just sit down and 
make the, there is a time set out every week for me to sit down and make some music, uh, which I really really like. I'm I'm considering doing music Mondays and Wednesdays and kind of not really do playing the games anymore, um, because amazingly and something that i'm very very happy about is that m more people people seem to be more interested in the music streams which which makes me very very happy as much as i love the gaming streams um yeah i i, I this is more my thing <laughs> okay how, how is that loud is that gonna get us Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, it's very subtle. That wonderful thing where it's subtle enough that that you only notice it when it's not there. I'll add it. I'll maybe add some toms as well, but. I really like that kick drum. That's that's really nice. Ooh, yes, please. Let's let's get that recorded. There's a heartbeat drum. That's just going to build really nicely with everything else. I'm still not 100% happy with that lead in, but well. Sure about the extra drums, but that's well, while we're here. Let's get, the, let's get the verb track done.
Yeah, just that little bit of reverb just brings out the uh, brings out the sound just a little bit more, which is really like, which is really lovely. And it'll be the same with the uh, the other tracks as well. That's really nice. Turn the bass up a bit. Just move the. Do you want size of the cello one? It's on the left, so. Listening with headphones you should have a slightly nicer kind of stereo image. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take pleasant. <laughs> That's got a, a bigger kick to it. And then... Oh, what on earth did I do there? Oh, hang on. Oh, whoops. <laughs> So Upriver Downriver, uh, I don't know if Ella's still in chat, but uh, so Upriver Downriver is an upcoming tabletop uh, RPG. Um, it is uh, designed by uh, Ella Watts and Max Breyer. There's a little, there's a little thing in the, in the, ooh, didn't mean to do that. Oh God, no, no, thank you. So if I type in river into the chat, uh, that will take you to the project page uh, on the crowdfunder and all the information is there. Uh, <laughs> Ella, Logical by Design would like to know about Upriver Downriver. Um, where's the best place that they can find information about that? Should they should they so wish? I've put a link up, but it's it's this really cool game. You, uh, you I think it's up to four players, maybe I think maybe more. Uh, you are a crew on a ship, and you you either you decide to sail um, upriver towards the source of the river, uh, or you sail downriver towards the sea, and and Many, 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 many uh, adventures happen along the way. Uh, MacGuffin and Company uh, is another uh, people to, to follow. They actually stream on Twitch. Uh, they, they stream on Sundays, I think. Um, and I'll be appearing on one of their streams very soon uh, to talk about this, to talk more about Upriver, Downriver. Um, so yes, it is an upcoming uh, tabletop RPG. Uh, it's a very fun one. Uh, I've listened to a few actual plays, and uh, yeah, Ella's describing it much better than I can. Uh, it is a queer hope punk TT RPG about sailing on a magical river. We, we recommend four players, but there are up to seven classes. It uses polyhedral dice and tarot cards as core mechanics. So, really cool thing. Absolutely smashed its Kickstarter goal, um, and will be coming out sometime this year uh, with a soundtrack. Hopefully. <laughs> Right. And then... 
add that in? Is that going to be too... Whoops, wrong. Copied the wrong thing. I'll read this out for, for anyone who's not keeping an eye on chat. The, lo the location set this is still on Upriver, Downriver from Ella. The location, settings, and, class and classes of the game are all inspired by historical sailing and tarot cards. It's all about rebuilding peace in the ruins of war. It's got a bunch of illustrations and much more. We finished the Kickstarter now, but you will be able to pre-order or buy the book from MacGuffin and Company. So follow the Kickstarter page if you're interested or subscribe to the MacGuffin newsletter. So the, the uh, Kickstarter again, that's the link again. Uh, and uh, let me just quickly get McGuffin and Company's Twitch. Twitch on the go. There we go. Yep, and I'll pop that in chat. Do, 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 do. Uh, Should probably put a command in there, but I'll do that next time. There you go. Okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. Oh, hang on. What have I done here? <laughs> Sorry, that's done a silly thing. Let's delete that lower one, see what happens. Oh, what have I done? Oh! Yes, let's actually make sure everything's in time. There we go. So now we've got a little solo over. Turn that down a bit. That's amazing that you're doing universe building. I can't, it's something I can't wrap my head around. Um, I love doing stuff like this and I love, I love kind of uh, coming up with stories and things, but um, kind of just creating a, a giant sandbox. I'm, I'm not, uh, I find that, I find that very difficult without putting a story in there. Um, Cameron Clo, who wrote uh, a podcast that we do called the Dungeon Economic Model. Um, he's very good at coming up with, with um, w doing world design and things. Um, I'm just like, tell me your secrets. Uh, but yeah, like it's like I I kind of I kind of came late to tabletop RPGs, so it's nice to kind of get into them now, um, and get a chance to kind of experience them and appreciate them as well. Uh, right, where where are we at? Let's see where we're at. Let's where we go. It's quite long. Yeah, it's quite a long track. Ah, stop it! <laughs> Behave! Okay.
violin up a bit at the end. Just so you can, just a little bit of extra, uh, bit of variety in there. Is this where we bring it? Okay, good, 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 good. I'm going to have to mix that quite a bit, uh, but that's okay. So first of all, let's route that through, uh, let's call it Tom. Uh, route that through the reverb. Just, is that, is that the reverb track? Did I not label the reverb track? Good lord. What am I like? Okay. ear from them. How does it end? How does it end? How does it end? Like it could, it could just loop back around quite easily. Just for the sake of, it could genuinely just fade out. But that that just feels like a cop out, you know. Another half an hour. We can, we can come up with something in half an hour.
Yeah, so I was... Yeah, normally I'd, I'd kind of fade down to the piano, but the problem is I think I've done that on all these other tracks as well. <laughs> I mean, I, so I think my maybe get out, my get out clause might be if I put these here. Smoosh them in. Actually smoosh them in. You're probably right, I just don't remember where I paused. That's that's maybe the way to do it. So we we just have it fading out over So we need what do we need? We need the mast the master track. Um volume envelope. Nope, not your volume envelope. This this volume envelope. And then put that on. It's a bit of a bit of a slow fade. But... Is there something we can do to make some extra effects? I'm not sure. Just some interesting routing, like some interesting effects. And then that's that's where we end. Okay, I think I think we have a track, everybody. Oh, has that been coming through there the whole time? Oh goodness, I'm so sorry. The audio must have been terrible. I've had my speakers on the whole time. Um, so let's let's listen to that from the beginning. See what we get. So you get your frozen strings kind of coming in first. I just no 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 no. Uh, there are no chords. Did I just take the chords out. I must have done. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's okay. Let's do it. Do it like this. Let's add another track. Why not? Uh. It's kind of like a lo-fi sound. Might just be a nice little addition just to fill out the space a bit more. Um. Get a bit 
closer. Ooh, I quite like that. Quite subtle, but it's quite nice. I think just to link stuff together a little bit better. Uh, just that kind of nice sort of white noise, a little bit of white noise. Mix is slightly fuller going into the going into the second section. Just so you've got a bit it's just less of a jump, you know? So, I'm aware ambient. Uh, when I do ambient tracks like this, it's slightly less interesting to watch and listen to just because a lot of the changes are quite subtle. <laughs> this is 
just me changing like a tiny little effect doing ah. It's not really a discernible difference. Oh, the organ's doing something interesting. Ah, that's really cool. I didn't hear that before. Just very quietly there. Might be a better fit for this one rather than than the the magician. I'll have a have a think and have a look at the list. Bring in the toms there, do you reckon? But an exploration song, you're bang on the money. The 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 idea here is that it's kind of a, a tricky a tricky moment uh, where. It is kind of, it is for the more kind of, one of the more adventurous tracks on the, on the, on the, on the soundtrack. That, at this point, is this song and two others. <laughs> Starting at the end, working backwards. Fix that later. section needs properly mixed. <laughs> the end. This is good. I think I think I think I'm done for the evening with this. I think this is kind of kind of it. Because 
Six minutes? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. So yeah, that's us. I think that is us for for this evening. I don't think there's 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 much more I can do with it. I'm not sure it fits doing the impossible. I think it might end up somewhere else, uh, somewhere else on the list. Uh, you could put it under hope, maybe. You could uh, you could put it on cal not calm rivers, eh. ghosts and gods, natural challenges. Uh, can't quite put it for ship battles. Can't quite put it for combat. Maybe no, storms are going to be pretty scary. So there, there'll there'll be something for this. There will be some somewhere for this song. Um, I do, I do think it works. It can work for doing the impossible. I just think doing the impossible can be a bit bigger potentially. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for coming along to the stream. Thank you very much if you stayed till the end. Uh, I hope you've had a relaxing time. I hope you've had had fun uh, watching the stream. Uh, we are here Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, Mondays it's either games or music. I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing this coming Monday. Uh, and then on Wednesdays we're doing more upriver downriver. This is track three of twenty two. Um, I need to do at least, there's an essential list of seven tracks that I'm currently working through and then there'll be all the other ones on top of that. Um, if you are new here, my name is David Devereaux. Uh, I am Tin Can Audio. Uh, I make podcasts, I do make sound design and, uh, and I do make lots of other noises. Um, both professionally and in my spare time. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, I'm going to close out here. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I hope to see you soon.